everyone, and welcome back, finally, to the Cape Noir LP. Um, sorry it's been so long. What did we even do last time? We got all of them to level 5 except this one. <coughs> but yeah, I've had some issues recording. Between technical issues and just personal issues, I haven't had a chance to, really. Which is why this is so delayed. I would rather not deal with this crab. Can you get out of here, crab? Cool. <clears throat> well, there's our key. There's our way out now. But yeah, I've not been able to record particularly well for a little while now. Um, the Unreal World project is... What is this? I don't understand. I have a key. I can't use it? I'm not sure what's up with that. But yeah, the Unreal World project will continue at some point. But it's significantly harder to record than this, so it'll probably be a while. In the meantime, I think this will take over as my main project on the channel. It's quite a bit easier to record. What is that? It looks like a rock, but it's pulsating. It's easier to record, and I don't really need to talk about the game much, which I kind of like. <coughs> because I can just sort of focus on talking about whatever I want to talk about rather than trying to explain what I'm thinking, because it's a very simple game. Yeah, I don't understand why I can't... Oh. Because I'm stupid. Okay. Need to be off of the tile, not standing on it, apparently. I haven't played this game since the last episode, so I'm definitely a bit rusty. Wow, she just kills everything, too. I know I don't need whatever is in here, but I want to see what it is. It was exactly as pointless as I expected, but whatever, we won. <clears throat> So, ooh, I forgot about that audio glitch. It shouldn't come up on the recording, but it's a bit disorienting. Anyway, I'm feeling quite a bit better now, so hopefully I can keep up with like an actual schedule, like I should have been doing this whole time in the first place, but. No promises for right now. Is there a secret door over here? Guess not. I love that these guys just wander around in circles. It's very silly. I think of them as like chasing their tails, basically. And there was no reason for me to kill that one. There's a fairy in here, and I can safely rescue it. And it will blow up. It made it implode. 
That's pretty violent. I shouldn't implode crabs. Nothing else that's kind of unnecessary. Crabs are not particularly dangerous creatures. There's a fairy in this room, so I would like to have the key. Yeah, I'm not used to playing this with the I keys anymore. Oh, um, anybody who doesn't know what VI keys are, uh, it's HJKL for movement. It's a standard in roguelikes, but this is a Game Boy game. And I haven't played a roguelike in quite a while, actually. So I'm a bit disoriented about everything ever. A little bit. It's a tiny room. Ooh, millipedes, I don't like this. Or centipede, or whatever it is. It has a lot of legs. Some would doubt it has a million, but this is a Game Boy, and it's a 16 by 16 sprite. So, I doubt it has a hundred either. I think it's a 16 by 16 sprite. That's um 16 by 16 pixels. Which is actually rather small. I'm playing it doubled, so things look a bit bigger, but still pretty small. I have to play it doubled because 16 by 16 sprites on like a modern monitor are just really difficult to see. It's obnoxious how hard it is. Um, it wouldn't really show in the recording, I don't think. Yeah, there's no secret doors here. Oh. Okay. I didn't mean to reactivate the teleporter, I meant to use the fire spell. I forgot I was standing on a teleporter. And the use item button and the activate teleporter button are the same. Okay, got our little fairy friend, and I think we can leave now. Assuming we don't fall in the lava. <clears throat> I want to move all of the dungeons at a similar pace, which is why I'm doing this one so, like, on why this episode has so far been dedicated to this one. Did I just... okay, I must have hit the button twice. It's awkward. Doesn't look like there's a hidden room around here, and I'm not going near that guy. That just creates a stairway for us to go down. Ooh, max HP increase. Okay, let's go free this fairy. And she'll make that little millipede, centipede, whatever pede disappear. Thanks, Emma. Let's get the fuck out of here. Speaking of getting out of here, 
secret door somewhere. Cool. Huh. This quest is probably one of the probably the hardest, other than the combat one. It's because you need to actually like acquire keys in order to do anything. Oh. Apparently killing those just lights up the entire floor. I did not know that. That is handy. Um There's no way I'm getting past you peacefully, is there? Oh. Um, that looks like a mimic, so I'm not going to fuck around with it. Oh. Um, what does this do again? Temporary boost our boost to our defense, I think. So it'll probably poison me, but... Come on, let me go. Go finally. Um, hmm. Where were the stairs down then? I don't see them. There's no other secret doors around here, are there? No? Hmm. -mm. Let's heal quick before I get myself killed doing stupid shit. Huh. So I guess I need to use this spell? A uh, giant crab will always go left, right, I think. Oh, wow. He hit a lot harder than I was expecting. <laughs> oh, sprite flicker. How do I get past these guys? I guess I have to attack one. Yeah, that sprite flicker is kind of weird. Huh. I probably could have gone around the other side of the room and gotten past them now that I think about it, but I was being dumb. Well, this is slightly more manageable than the last room was. Still not rather not deal with those Grim Reaper dudes. I like that those centipedes are not particularly hostile, at least. Like, you can stand right next to them and they won't attack you immediately. They'll just go about their business unless you're, like, persistently next to them. 
Kind of feel bad for like murdering them with fairies now, though. Didn't do anything to me. Gas clouds are just annoying. Do I have a key? I do not. So I might as well murder that thing and... Ooh. Does that transform monster into a random other monster? Eee. I don't know if I want to attempt that. So I need to get past this fool. Was the stairway in that other room? I don't remember now. I think it was. I wish the fairies disappeared off the closest edge rather than having to fly to the top. I don't know what that is. It looks like a zombie to me. Okay, skeleton and a mimic. I think I remembered what they look like at least. Get the feeling this would be going a lot worse if I did not remember what the mimic icon is. Ooh. Let's try this room, shall we? Um, dragon, Hydra. and what appears to be a fireball. So that thing's big and scary and I would rather not deal with it. And so I will not deal with it. However, that does leave me the problem of dealing with this. Well, we found our way out. And another room. That looks like a millipede. I'd rather not attack you. Let's use our healing potion. Hmm. This thing is really obnoxious. Okay. Well, I think we need to use this. So let's get the fuck out of here and what the hell is that? Looks vaguely like a dick. Why are there dicks in this dungeon? On um, second thought, maybe I don't want to know. Let's just rescue this fairy and she can probably murder them. If she can murder everything on screen at whim, at a, on a whim, why does she get captured? That just seems kind of odd to me. 
I somewhat doubt I would have any problem with this game if I could murder everything on screen as soon as I entered every room. Again, okay, maybe she can only do it once and she's like burning her power to thank us. Let's not deal with you right now. Okay, so we have a lot of ways to deal with poison. And not much else. Two invisibilities, and I think that's a healing scroll. Oh, we can leave anyway. Well, since we can leave anyway, yeah, that's a healing scroll. Okay. I just wanted to make sure what it did before I left, because I kept getting them and not knowing what they did. Which is a bit of a problem sometimes. Alright, what time are we up to? Only 20 minutes? Uh, we can do another one, at least. <laughs> Let's do the hard one. The one where we actually have to fight things. would rather not be poisoned right now. Oh, well, it wore off almost immediately anyway. Hello, lava floor. Skeletons are kind of tough. I like their skeletons fight in this game. But that's kind of useless. We're definitely not going to do this. I think that boosts our attack for a room. Oh. Um. Hello. You're big and scary. For some reason I don't think that's going to help much. That might. Nope. Wow. I don't even know what that is. Like, what's it even meant to be? It's just huge and terrifying. Ooh. We don't have an antidote, so we're definitely taking poison damage from that. Oof. Not a good start. Hmm. 2 out of 10 so far, it's not terrible. Any hidden rooms? I'd rather get into more fights on the early floors when the monsters are less terrifying. It's useless. Oh, well, maybe we can take this thing. Nope. It's a waste. I don't know if we can even fight these. Probably not, to be honest. Nope. Kills us next turn. Most likely, anyway. Not like you, you're going to one-shot me. So 
show it you actually. Yeah, I don't think we're winning this. Maybe with this we can get enough defense that it won't hurt us? Maybe? Okay. Well. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I got really lucky there. I did not realize that that was a walkable tile. Well, a temporarily walkable tile. Nope. Still not dealing with you. Where are the stairs? Are there any? Um, oh, more secret doors. This is the one next to that giant thing that we can actually go through. Still can't hurt you. Uh, don't want to risk it. These are the weakest things we'll find down here. <sighs> Definitely cutting it too close. Where are the odds we can kill that centipede? Probably pretty low, and if we get poisoned we're definitely dead. Alright, so we know we can't take that because it will take multiple hits to kill pretty much no matter what. Oh, and we do have to run past it. Wonderful. Unnecessarily risky, but I guess we don't have a choice. Extra armor definitely helps, but we need to heal <laughs> badly. If I do that though, I should be able to kill these two. All they need is one good hit to kill us, which is kind of nerve-wracking, but... So definitely the weakest enemy we'll find, and with that armor boost they can't seem to touch us, which is... strange. Health potion. I would rather you stop coming closer, spider dude. That also works, however. And we actually did it. Wow. Yeah. This is, uh, really difficult to do. Uh, I'm gonna cut it here. I'll see you guys next time, though. Goodbye!